Well, it sure buoys your future in the Central Valley, but for one candidate in the California's 22nd district, her campaign has chosen not to use her voice at all. Yeah, State Senator Melissa Hurtado's campaign has declined or not responded to several requests from Eyewitness News to participate in our candidate interview series. Will Silverstein has the story. Will. Rochelle Michael, Eyewitness News has interviewed the leading seven U.S. Senate candidates, the five leading candidates to replace Kevin McCarthy, and three of the four candidates running in California's 22nd district. That one holdout is State Senator Melissa Hurtado, whose campaign has rejected six interview requests dating back from last August all the way through last week. State Senator Hurtado's campaign for Congress has been a little bit of a, a mystery. That's because State Senator Melissa Hurtado has avoided media for quite some time. With Eyewitness News in particular, our station has reached out six times directly to her campaign manager, Lisa Gasparoni, only to receive two responses, both declining interviews. The first inquiries came last August when Hurtado announced her candidacy for the district. The interview requests have continued through January and even last week. She hasn't really raised any money. It's not clear how hard she's really running for the office. If Hurtado loses, she still holds office in the state Senate since her term is not up. Hurtado's campaign funding is dwarfed by her Democrat opponent, Rudy Salas, who is backed by the Democrat Central Committee and the House Majority PAC. And it's not just the funding, it's media spending. According to FCC filings, Hurtado has not spent a dime on funding where media backing Salas may be spending upwards of $1 million. There's some concern how she's impacting the race, and it's not clear what her intent is. Political strategist Rob Stutzman says there's a real chance that Hurtado's involvement in the race may guarantee a Democrat-leaning district and all-Republican runoff in November because the race is a nonpartisan primary, only the top two advance to November's runoff. Her presence on the ballot, of course, complicates Salas making the runoff. So there's a scenario here where Democrats could cancel each other out so much that neither one of them makes a runoff, and it's like Valadeo and Mathis in November. As far as where Hurtado stands on the issues, voters will have to read through her campaign website, where she covers broad topics including water, education, health care, public safety, and immigration, most of it just touting her efforts to get bills passed in the state capitol. Now, Eyewitness News remains open to an interview with Senator Hurtado to, to continue to inform our viewers about their choices come the March 5th primary. Now, to watch our interviews with the other three candidates in the 22nd District, head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.